hello guys in part one of this project i will show you the design of the drill pump and talk a little bit about the theoretical aspect in part two the pump will be tested please make sure you subscribe this channel to get the part two video let's us begin first let us see how does a drill pump work when you attach your electrical drill to the pump, the impeller begins to spin, which uh, sucks water from the inlet. As the impeller rotates, the volume between the blades increases, which creates a low pressure area where atmospheric and static pressure pushes the water inside the pump. The impeller blades transform the speed of the water into pressure and increase um, the pressure of the water. After, after passing through the impeller, the increased pressure water sends toward the outlet area from where it is discharged. The construction of the pump is relatively simple. It contains a pump housing, impeller shaft, five uh, M4 screws and nodes. So if you have a 3D printer and you need a drill pump, Please check the link to the STL files in the description. And now let us take a look to the assembly. Here is the first part of the housing and here is the blades holder. The blades in this design uh, should be flexible um, and from rubber material uh, that I will show you later. Here is the shaft and gasket and here is the part 2 of the pump housing include notice and the screws. If you want to get this 3D CAD model include all um, rendering animation and so on please contact me by slicing the parts of the model please make sure that the position of the shafts is in horizontal direction it is very important for a good torque resistance the other parameters are 0.2 mm layer high and 40 percent in fill the the branching time is um, about 17 hours Now let us uh, begin the assembly of the pump. Here is the first part of the housing and here I lubricate the shaft bearing. And here is the shaft itself. And after that I start to prepare the blades from these garden holes. You can use if you want other flexible material. The thickness of the sheet should be 4 mm, the width 25 and the length 55 mm. And here is the final result of the impeller, the flexible impeller. Here you see the shaft uh, seal or shaft gasket with uh, 10 mm inner diameter and 12 mm outer diameter. After that I go ahead and try to uh, insert the flexible impeller in the, into the pump housing. It is very important uh, to lubricate all the um, impeller component. The next step is to make sure that the pump housing uh, is watertight using this sealing material.
and the final step is to put these in four screws and to close the pump housing as I already mentioned all the SCL files for this model are available please check the links in the description if you like these projects and you wanna see more stuff like this please subscribe my channel this is the final result and this is how it should look like let us see if it works